And we are here on a Sunday. I'm gonna give you a story time. Today's gonna be a funny story time because I'm gonna make people laugh this week. And this story time will be about the time I got my medical marijuana card. Oh my God! So, um, if you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, or any fucking thing, you know that I am a legal California medical marijuana patient because I made like a big fucking deal about it on Snapchat like a month or so ago. A month, two months, it's been a while. Uh, so um, the reason I started smoking medical marijuana and things like that was because before we moved into this apartment, we lived in another apartment and um, the people above us decided to treat real life as if it was breaking fucking bad and set the apartment on fire and um, almost burned the building to the ground. It was like their apartment was right here and we were like right here. So like when shit was burning the fuck up and things are like flying over the rails and like oh my god I had to hurry up and get my mom out because I wanted to the hit her in the head and then I had to run out but we had the Red Cross help us because like our own apartment building was not helping us or doing anything. We slept in two different hotels. We drove all over San Diego finding a new apartment. We found this apartment in a day, moved into it in a day, and all through that whole process, it was like four days, my hair was falling out at like an extreme rate. Um, different parts of my life when I've gotten really stressed out or I lose a lot of sleep or I'm not eating much and I'm just like, I feel like absolute shit. Um, my hair falls out. So, um, but this time was different because like clumps and clumps and clumps of my hair were just like falling out and I was starting to go bald. And like the middle section of my hair, I'd wash it and, and brush it and condition it. And I keep my hair really healthy. Like it may look like shit on a stick, but it's washed, it's clean, it's everything. But my shit was falling out. So, um, my mom knows this woman who is a medical marijuana patient. And she was like, why don't you go here? This place, there's um, a nice, there's nice staff, there's this, there's that, you talk to a doctor, blah, 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 bring all your medical stuff, get your daughter a card, because with all her anxieties and depression and PTSD and all the shit I go through, it would really benefit me, and uh, it actually has extremely, but okay. So we go where she recommended us, we had to climb like two flights of stairs, holy shit, all the places in California have fucking stairs, but okay. So we climb the stairs and then there's this building. We knock on the door, cause you know, you don't just, just enter rooms, okay? We knock on the door, this woman opens it. <laughs> she must have been high as shit because she opens the fucking door and she's like, hello, welcome. And she says the name of the place or whatever. And we're like, hi, um, we're here for, she went, I know what you're here for, silly, come on, come on in. So we walk in and like this place got packed pretty fucking quick. Like we were there for five minutes and like 10 other people walked in. It was fucking crazy. Highly recommended. I read up all on this shit on the internet. Fucking crazy. We walk in and she hands us these forms to fill out. She's like, here are four pages that I need you to fill out with your medical history and it's also telling you what you're gonna get today the price and when you're gonna talk to the doctor okay cool you're really pretty thank you no like I mean it you're gorgeous take a seat she was high as a fucking kite you guys okay so me and my mom are like trying not to giggle because we're immature as fuck. And I fill out my three forms. I have my social, my, my license, everything. And so she goes, all right, guys, friends, let me explain some things to you about the laws. So she goes into the whole effect of the prop and everything, when it was signed, what it means, how you can't cross state lines, how in certain states that are also legal, you can only buy a certain amount of weed, but you can't like cross the lines or whatever. She explained everything thoroughly to us and then she says she's gonna phone the doctor and we're gonna meet him over Skype. And I was like, damn, that's convenient. But okay, so she goes back there and um, she comes back out with her chipper chipper self and she's like, all right, you, you beautiful girl, come back. So 
go back there and this like doctor he's on the camera and he's like hello I'm doctor so-and-so show me all his credentials you know everything so it like is believable I already knew he was like a legit doctor but thanks for the reminder so I go back there I sit down you know I put on my professional bitch voice because we all got one which was hello yes my name is Tyler it's very nice to meet you mm-hmm um, yeah, my number is this, and, um, this is this, and I have this, 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 and this. Um, I'm an asthmatic. I have my inhaler with me. My doctor is so-and-so. I go to so-and-so. I don't drive yet. I'm considering going back to school, this and that, that and this. Yeah, no. So, me and him talked for like a good 45 fucking minutes. He was asking me all types of shit, telling me what I asking me what my medical history this time is or how did this happen or when did this happen and blah 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 thorough as fuck and so when it was over we go back out another person goes in to talk to the doctor and everything else so then she calls me back and she's like alright this is what the doctor recommended alright here's this this and this and here is your card now here you go it's not a card guys it's not like a card it's like a big ass piece of paper with your name on it this number that number it's legal blank 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 and blank you know you can go to any dispensary in the state of California blah 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 blah, 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 blah. His, his seal on it Doctor Proof, his signature on it, where he works, where she works, every fucking thing, all right, it's on this piece of paper. So when I go to dispensaries, they'd be like, can I get your recommendation and your ID, please? Boom! Right there. It's pretty fucking simple. So, I only had to pay $45 for it, which I was like, what? Yes! This is better than a fucking DMV. So... We're back there. She gives you like a magazine or whatever to tell you where all the local dispensaries are, all the events for um, medical marijuana patients. They tell you um, how, what type of things to get with how much CBD is in them, how much THC is in them. It breaks everything down for you in a very thorough, thorough way. And I was like, holy shit, you know, and she was like telling me how pretty I am, telling me how amazing CBD oils are for her, how amazing weed has changed her life. She's all about flower power, man. Chow, my God, whatever she was smoking, please, please give me some. Um... She explained everything to me. She gave me two um, medical marijuana cards. She said, this one's more for your house. This one's for when you go out and stuff because you always want to have a backup in case you decide to become a grower. And I was like, a grower? She was like, a grower. You're allowed to grow up to three plants in your home. That's what's limited. It's on your card. And she was right. You're limited to three plants. It's on your card. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. It was fucking strange. But it was amazing. I came out with my card. I was very, very excited and I went and bought weed. It's usually what you do. I don't smoke every day. <sighs> I don't like get blitzed out of my mind or anything. I smoke enough to calm down. And since I've started, um, I don't have to take my migraine medication. I was taking um, two different pills for my migraines. One to like stop it if it comes on. and. One, if it's so bad that I can't move my neck or head. And ever since then, I haven't had to take any of those. And I've cut down on my stomach pills because I have really bad IBS and gastritis and picos. But um, it's helped with a lot of things. And, you know, it's stressful when you're constantly taking pills for different things in your life. But then when you find something that you can just eliminate them, you feel internally blessed. And I am. And I'm so fucking happy. And... <sighs> Everything is gravy, man. So yeah, if you live in the state of California, you got problems. Get some wheat. No I'm kidding. But yeah, um, so yeah, this was my story time about my medical marijuana. This video is like nine minutes and some some seconds. And I hope you laughed. Oh, and if you're wondering what's going on with my background, my apartment complex decided to butcher the tree that was blocking the shade from the sun into my room. So for the past two weeks, I've been dealing with waking up at 8.30 in the morning because my face is on fire and I feel like fucking Dracula and my shit is burning because there's no tree there anymore. Well, there's a tree there. They just took all the fucking branches away to block the fucking sun. So I had to get one of these beautiful cloths from Old Navy. If you've been in Old Navy, you've seen them. 
They're pretty lovely. And they block out everything. Now this video is 10 minutes, but it is a story time. And story times tend to be long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful Sunday and an upcoming week. This week I will review Scream the TV series. And hopefully we get closer to closer and find out who the fucking killer is. I think it's the psychology teacher to tell you the truth. But anyway, bye guys.